Let's take a journey into the life of Prophet Saleh, peace be upon him. A prophet sent to a nation known for its strength and power, but also for its arrogance and disbelief. This is the story of Saleh and the people of Samud, a story filled with lessons of faith, miracles, and the consequences of rejecting the signs of Allah. The people of Samud were a powerful and prosperous nation who lived after the destruction of the people of Ad, to whom Prophet Hud was sent. They resided in an area known as Al Haya, located between modern day Saudi Arabia and Jordan. Samud was famous for its advanced architecture. They carved magnificent homes and palaces directly into the mountains, a feat that demonstrated their immense skills and ingenuity. But with their power came arrogance. Instead of being grateful for the blessings Allah had bestowed upon them, the people of Samud turned to idol worship. They indulged in pride, corruption, and injustice, believing that their strength made them invincible. In his mercy, Allah sent Prophet Saleh, a man from among them, to guide them back to the path of righteousness. Saleh was well known among his people for his wisdom, honesty, and integrity. The people respected him, and when he began his mission, he approached them with kindness and patience. Saleh called his people to the worship of Allah alone, reminding them of the blessings they had been given. He warned them about the dangers of idol worship and urged them to abandon their corrupt ways. Saleh told them, O oh my people, worship Allah. You have no deity other than him. He produced you from the earth and settled you in it. So seek his forgiveness and then repent to him. Indeed, my Lord is near and responsive. But like many nations before them, the people of Samud were deeply attached to their idols. The leaders and elites, in particular, rejected Saleh's message. They questioned why Allah would send a man like them to be a prophet. They said, O oh Saleh, you were among us a man of promise before this. Do you forbid us to worship what our forefathers worshipped? And indeed, we are in disquieting doubt about that to which you invite us. Despite their rejection, Prophet Saleh did not give up. He continued to preach, warning them of the consequences of their disbelief. He reminded them of the fate of the people of Ad, who had been destroyed because of their arrogance and rejection of Allah's message. But the people of Samud, in their pride, demanded a sign from Saleh to prove his prophethood. In response to their demand, Allah granted the people of Samud a miraculous sign a she-camel, unlike any they had ever seen. This camel was a miraculous creation of Allah, sent as both a blessing and a test for the people. Saleh warned his people that the she-camel was a sign from Allah and that they should not harm her. She was allowed to graze freely and drink water from the well, and the people of Samud were instructed to share the water with her taking turns between themselves and the camel, Saleh said. This is the she-camel of Allah, sent to you as a sign. So let her feed upon Allah's earth, and do not touch her with harm, lest there seize you an impending punishment. For a time, some of the people of Samud respected the sign. They allowed the camel to drink and graze as Allah had commanded, but the leaders of Samud grew resentful. They could not tolerate the message of Prophet Saleh, or the presence of the miraculous camel, which was a constant reminder of their obligation to submit to Allah. Eventually, a group of nine men among the leaders of Samud conspired to kill the she-camel. Despite Saleh's warnings of severe consequences, they plotted to end the camel's life. These men, driven by their arrogance and disbelief, carried out their evil plan. They hamstrung and killed the camel, ignoring the clear sign from Allah after killing the camel, they brazenly mocked Prophet Saleh, challenging him to bring the punishment he had warned them about, they said. O oh Saleh, bring us what you promise us, if you should be of the messengers. The punishment of Samud, Prophet Saleh, was heartbroken by their actions. He knew that the punishment of Allah was now inevitable. Saleh turned to his people and said, Enjoy yourselves in your homes for three days. That is a promise not to be denied. For three days, the people of Samud continued in their arrogance, mocking Saleh and ignoring his final warnings. But on the third day, 
the skies darkened and the ground began to tremble. Alice sent a mighty earthquake and a piercing sound so powerful that it wiped out the entire nation of Samud in an instant. Their grand homes, carved into the mountains, were of no use to them. The people of Samud, once so proud of their strength and power, were reduced to ruins. The only ones spared from this destruction were Prophet Saleh and the small group of believers who had accepted his message. The story of Prophet Saleh is a reminder of the consequences of arrogance and disbelief. The people of Samud were given clear signs of Allah's power, yet they rejected the truth out of pride and stubbornness. Their refusal to believe led to their ultimate destruction. But this story also shows us the mercy of Allah. Despite the disobedience of the people of Samud, Allah sent Prophet Saleh to guide them, giving them numerous chances to repent and turn back to him. The miraculous she-camel was a clear sign, a test to see if they would humble themselves before their Creator. But in the end, their hearts remained hard, and they paid the price for their arrogance. For us today, the story of Prophet Saleh and the people of Samud serves as a powerful reminder to remain humble, to always be grateful for the blessings Allah has given us, and to heed the guidance that Allah sends through His Prophets. Our viewers are encouraged to suggest us the names of prophets about whom they are interested. We will come up with detailed life story of him. We have noticed that majority of our viewers are of not subscribed to our channel. This simple act of subscribing to our channel will go a long way in helping us create similar content in future. Bless you all.